Be therefore imitators of God as beloved children. Walk in love, even as Christ also loved you, and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling fragrance. But sexual immorality and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be mentioned among you as become saints, nor filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not appropriate, but rather giving of thanks. Know this for sure, that no sexually immoral person, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes on the sons of disobedience. Therefore don't be partakers with them, for you were once darkness, but are now light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is well-pleasing to the Lord. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather even reprove them, for the things which are done by them in secret it is a shame even to speak of, but all things, when they are reproved, are revealed by the light, for everything that is revealed is light. Therefore, he says, Awake, you who sleep, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Therefore, watch carefully how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, don't be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Don't be drunken with wine, in which is dissipation but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and singing praises in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always concerning all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father, subjecting yourselves one to another in the fear of Christ. Wives, be subject to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, and Christ also is the head of the assembly, being himself the Savior of the body. But as the assembly is subject to Christ, so let the wives also be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the assembly and gave himself up for it, that he might sanctify it, having cleansed it by the washing of water with the word, that he might present the assembly to himself gloriously, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Even so ought husbands also to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his own wife loves himself. For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, even as the Lord also does the assembly. Because we are members of his body, of his flesh and bones. For this cause a man will leave his father and mother and will be joined to his wife. The two will become one flesh. This mystery is great, but I speak concerning Christ and of the assembly. Nevertheless, each of you must also love his own wife even as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. 